Welcome to Casa Amatie in Barcelona, right next to the Casa Bayo of Gaudi. Antoni Amatie y Costa, a chocolate maker and industrialist, built this home in the new modernism area of Barcelona on the Passage de Gracia. It is a remarkable building in the latest style of 1900, which elsewhere might be called Art Nouveau. It blends the traditional Spanish Catalonian architectural styles with influences that he discovered in his travels with his daughter in Turkey, Morocco, and Egypt. It is a remarkable building. It was designed by the well-known architect Puig uh, de Caldervat. It is, I hope you will enjoy this little tour. Hired Kadalfak to create sculptures that were very much of the Art Nouveau or Modernism period that symbolized his various interests. Um, and m almost all of these magnificent sculptures are symbolic of his own life and his business. Right now we are just about to walk up the main staircase. Notice the scrofito, the etched plaster decorations on the walls, uh, combined with remarkable tile work and painting. And then all of these sculptures that, many of which are very humorous, that highlight different parts of the house as you walk through it. The doorway as you walk in, um, the brass work and the grill through which they could peek out to see who was here are just superb inlaid in beautiful woodwork. And then above each doorway are these superb sculptures, um, very evocative of the modernism period. Uh, and on the left, this dog, on the right, this um, cat with a uh, collar. It, you just sort of feel like you want to chuckle as you look at some of these things. And then it's all offset. Look at this extraordinary uh, coat hook. And then the lamps everywhere, glass, stained glass, and the wallpapers. This is a French hand-painted wallpaper that they discovered that was behind paneling. And then the hand-painted ceilings. Some of which are etched plaster. Here's the stairwell, stairway, one of the halls. And you can see the relationship between the tiled floor and the beautiful ceilings. And then walking into the dining room. Is um, truly a, a, an outstanding experience. When you see this, the, the table and the lamps and this beautiful window that overlooked the garden. The Amatier family um, we're chocolate makers and industrialists, but amatia actually means almond tree. So there are almond tree motifs everywhere, including those in this window, stained glass window. The lamp in the center of the room with its hanging discs of stained glass. Again, above one of the doorways. 
a welcoming sculpture. One of the many pieces of furniture that Kadalfak designed for the Amatiers with the symbols of almond blossoms on it. A superb chair. The wainscoting is um, a hand-painted English Arnavo silk, and then above uh, at the top are graphics that said in poetry, a Catalonian poetry. This says Catalonia. Look at these chairs too. Just beautiful. There actually were 12 chairs like this. You can imagine how many people could sit in that beautiful dining room overlooking the garden that is no longer there but is about to be restored. Ceiling with the scraffito etched plaster. One of the columns, capital of a column with fruit on it, offset by the stained glass. Now leaving this room, you come into the next room, which has the sink, which is just beautiful carved marble. And right above it is a marvelous medieval style handled spout. And then that same hall, look at the floor, Roman tile style floor with windows overlooking the air shaft that comes down from the sky to the ground. And again, beautiful capitals on the columns that support the room. Everywhere there's superb art. The Amatiers were uh, fine collectors, and what is remarkable about this uh, house is that everything is there. They kept everything, and they kept records of everything, so that there's a full history. And um, Amatier himself was a photographer, an earlier photographer, so he, there are 25,000 photographs of early Barcelona and records of every element of the house, which is almost unheard of in any period house. So that the art historians that run this entire um, building are, they are really superb themselves and they've made excellent records that are shown in a slideshow that is one of the finest introductions to any house I've ever seen. This is Teresa Amatier's bedroom. It's beautifully carved ceilings, it's brass, Arnavo lamps with stained glass blown discs. Every detail of this room is sympathetic and sumptuous. This carved column facing stained glass windows overlooks the primary street, one of the main streets of Barcelona, Passage de Gracia. And all of the furniture in this room is carved sycamore, displaying symbols of the almond tree, almond blossoms, that represents the family Amatier. The room is so appealing 
it feels like one could move right darker, in. In the public area, oak, French oak. Warm yeah. mm. Teresa Amatie lived in this room for 65 or 70 years. When you're in the bed and you're sleeping with me, it just keeps falls falling off. off. <laughs> I always thought that I was going to be very sick. Very happy in this room. Every element of it reflects one into the next, the same sort of sumptuous detail. It's so pleasing to the eye. Even this detail of a baseboard window looks a little gothic, but with stained glass Art Nouveau panels. And this carved cat on one side of the door and dog on the other side. Carved birds on one door surmounted by this beautiful flautist carving and the wood ceiling and this French moiré wallpaper, silk wallpaper. Paper. Above a cabinet is this marble portrait of Teresa Amatie. Who lived here in the house after her father died for many years alone. These are the carved ceilings, lamps of her father's rooms. This bust portrait of him, the chocolate maker, industrialist. In his own private rooms, Amaltier's symbols of the carving, the more, much more masculine look of his room than that of his daughter, are still resplendent in aspects that blend traditional Catalan style with that of modernism, Art Nouveau in every aspect that decorates his own private spaces. The entire house is truly a marvelous example of Catalonian modernism, of Art Nouveau, in all of its forms, here exemplified in one home. Here's the door out into the staircase, down onto the street, past these graffito etched walls. And one last look up the stairwell and to the beautiful stained glass skylight designed by Cadafalk and its light that would have shone down and illuminated this great entrance to the house. Come see it in Barcelona. You'll love it.